Hey guys, today we're going to go through these five exterior angle practice problems. Click that like button for good luck and let's go. Let's look at our first problem. This is a typical exterior angle problem where you have a triangle with a little tail and it asks you to find the value of the exterior angle X. Every time we talk about the exterior angle, it's this angle on the outside of the triangle that we're referring to. We can use the exterior angle theorem, which says that the sum of the interior angles here add up to the exterior angle here. For our problem, we can say that 65 plus 70 equals X, which is our exterior angle. Solving, we'll get that X equals 135 degrees, and that's it. That's our answer. I also think it's important not to blindly memorize theorems because what happens if you can't think of this one specific theorem out of all of the 50 random theorems you're supposed to memorize? Well, you just have to remember these two basic facts about triangles and lines. Number one, all of the angles inside of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And two, the angles that make up a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So another way of thinking about the same problem, if you can't quite remember the exterior angle theorem, is all of the angles inside a triangle add up to 180, right? So this angle must be 45 degrees because 65 plus 70 plus 45 equals 180. Then since X is on the same straight line, that means these two angles add up to 180. So x equals 135. That was just another way of doing the same problem, and now you know why the theorem works. Alright, problem two. We can use the same idea that these two interior angles add up to the exterior angle out here. There's just more x's in this problem. x plus 45 equals 3x plus 5. If we simplify this equation, we'll get that 40 equals 2x. Dividing both sides by 2, we'll get x equals 20 degrees, which is our answer. Just a side note, you have to pay attention to what the question is asking for too, because sometimes the question will ask you to find the measure of the exterior angle, and to answer that, you have to plug in the value you got for x back into this expression to truly answer the question and get full points. Problem three. Again, this is the same problem, but the diagram just looks a little different. If you think about it, the diagram is just flipped and rotated so that it looks upside down. But at the end of the day, it's still just a triangle with a little tail. So again, let's use the exterior angle theorem. This is our exterior angle on the outside of the triangle, and according to the theorem, these two interior angles that are not a part of the tail add up to the exterior angle. So 2x plus 10 plus 3x plus 5 equals 60. Simplifying, we'll get 5x plus 15 equals 60 and x equals 9, which is our final answer. Problem 4, we're almost done. The question is asking us to find the value of this exterior angle, which I'm just going to call it angle M. This one is a little weird because it looks like the same type of problem, but when you directly apply the exterior angle theorem like we have been, we'll get the equation 90 plus x equals M and you'll find that you can't solve it directly, which is why it's important not to just blindly memorize these theorems. We can use these basic facts that we talked about earlier to solve the problem. No fancy theorems needed. So we know that all angles inside a triangle add up to 180. Let's use that fact to solve for x. Setting up our equation, we'll get 90 because this red symbol indicates that it's a right angle, which is 90 degrees, plus 2x plus 30, plus x equals 180. 
When we simplify all of this, we'll get that x equals 20. Now, we're not done yet because the question asked us to find the measure of the exterior angle, not just x. So notice that this exterior angle is on the same straight line as this angle here. From that fact, we can set up an equation because all angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. 2x plus 30 plus m equals 180. We have two variables in this equation, but we already figured out the value of x, which is 20. Plugging in 20 for x, we'll get m equals 110 degrees. This is our final answer. Problem 5, the last one. I'll show you two ways to do this. First, using the exterior angle theorem, and then after, I'll show you how I would do it. Using the exterior angle theorem first, you can see that there's a triangle with a tail here, so classic exterior angle theorem question. In order to find this angle, you can add these interior angles, 40 plus 90, to get that it equals 130. To find x, we can use the fact that all interior angles in a triangle add up to 180. So 30 plus 130 plus x equals 180. We'll get x equals 20, which is half of our answer. Now to find y, you can use the exterior angle theorem again because this is another triangle with a tail, right? So these two interior angles add up to 130. For a problem, we can say that 90 plus y equals 130. And y equals 40. And now we have both the values of x and y, which is our final answer. Now, I don't know about you, but my brain is not trained to find triangles with tails. I just see triangles and lines. So what you can do is just use these two rules about triangles and lines that we talked about before. I see this triangle here, and because all angles inside a triangle add up to 180, I know this angle equals 50, because 40 plus 90 plus 50 equals 180. Now, because these two angles are on the same line, I know the angles add up to 180. So this angle is 130. I also see this triangle, and again, since all angles in a triangle add up to 180, I know that x equals 20. Now we only have y left to solve for. These angles are directly across from each other, or in other words, they're vertical angles, which means that they're the same angle measure. Vertical angles are pretty important to know, but if you happen to forget, you can also use the fact that these two angles are on the same line and add up to 180. No matter how you think about it, this angle is 50 degrees. Finally, we can use the fact that this is a triangle, and all the interior angles will add up to 180 degrees. So y equals 40. And that's it. All right, those were all of the problems I wanted to go over today. Let me know if you have any other questions or topics you'd want me to cover. If this video helped you out, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more math tutorials like this, and I'll see you all in the next video.